I grew up in a household of a city hall worker. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. My dad worked for the city his entire career. I think he had one job right out of college for a year or two, and then he went to work for the city. He was in a department back then, they called it data processing. It's probably called IT or something a little more sophisticated than data processing. But I remember at Christmas, this time of year, remember the old green bar reports that we do? He'd print those off and I'd hang them on my wall and it'd be a picture of Santa and all the reindeer that the IT or the data processing department at that time created out of their system. And, and when Linda called me on this, I, I called my dad and I was reminiscing a little bit about growing up in a, in, you know, in a, in a city hall household. And he said, Mark, he goes, you know what? I loved working for the city. He said that the thing that was great about working for the city is, he said, I felt like it was like a small town all rolled up into one building. And there was a lot of diversity, but on the other hand, there was a lot of security. And, and he goes, I just loved it for my career. And I said, well, Dad, I'm going to be speaking on change. And he got kind of quiet. <laughs> and I said, you know, what was it like driving change? And he goes, oh, Mark. He goes, you know, there was some, there was some, there was some tough times. You know, you had a lot of people that had been there a long time, and, and sometimes there were things that I thought should have been fairly routine, fairly easy. That it just seemed like we used to battle a long time to get those those done. And I said, well, can you think of an example of one that was particularly challenging that you look back on now and think, boy, it should have been a lot easier than it was? And he and he thought for a little while, and he said, well, you know, I remember when the PC first came out. And people were using typewriters. And he goes, you would have thought taking those typewriters away, we were taking away their firstborn child. He goes, that was a, he goes, that was a tough one. But he goes, now I look back on it, and probably there isn't probably a typewriter that's left in, in City Hall. Anybody here around when Fort Worth went through that change? Anybody old enough? OK, a couple. All right, you were probably, he said, you know what, what drove it was the younger people that were coming in, that were all adapted, you know, that had come out of school. He said, especially finance. He said to find those finance people wanted those spreadsheets, and that's what really, really drove it. So, a lot of great memories. And, and coming from Kansas City, I got to share one more story. Johnny talked a little bit about Dallas, and and, and I was thinking this spawned this memory. But when, when we first moved here, we moved here in 1999, and I remember coming down here. I was so frustrated as a Kansas City Chiefs fan. We had, in the last 10 years, even though we had been to the playoffs, seven of those last 10 years, we had never made it to the Super Bowl. And I remember my first day, we, we live in Flower Mound, and I remember driving in to, into work, and somehow I found the ticket when we first moved here. And I remember Jerry Jones was on the radio, and he was talking, and I thought, God, this is so cool. I mean, you got the owner on the radio. You know, our owner was Lamar Hunt. Who was in? So we never heard from Lamar Hunt, and uh, I thought, man, this is awesome. And, and, and I started daydreaming. My son was one at the time. I thought, I wonder how many Super Bowls we're going to experience. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Now my son's about ready to graduate high school. Guess how many Super Bowls we've graduated? How many Super? How many playoff wins? Have we <laughs> so now when I hear Jerry Jones on the radio, I don't get all excited and go. <laughs> Help your employees lead change. Contact Mark Fenner. He gets results, and employees have a great time while he does it. 469-293-6198. This is Bob Kaplitz for the RISE Performance Group.